Stupid skeletons, I tell ya. Is that my grave? That's my grave. <laughs> I died in midair. I got sniped by a skeleton. Give me my goodies back. So, how's it going, everybody? This is Etho, and welcome back, guys, to episode number 11 of our modded series. I see the creeper back there. Don't you worry. I know it's there. Can't believe we're on episode 11 already. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe it. Because I'm no fool. <laughs> oh, I know. It's episode 10. I know it's episode 10. So why did I say 11? Because when I said 11, you checked, didn't you? You looked. So I just made you look. Oh, snap. I got you so good. <laughs> oh, I made you look. Okay. So, cobblestone generator here, right? Wrong. Well, actually, you are right. But it's also a steam generator. And I was thinking, why is it... Well, that's interesting. Before when I was using this, it wasn't spreading like that. Aha, uh -huh, but yes, steam generator, right? If we're building a steampunk city, we're going to need steam. So, I found a way to actually collect it. Oh, this is really messed up now. <laughs> what What is going on? I tried this earlier. Oh, I did not see that creeper, though. Hey, guy. I really want to burn him with the steam now. Oh! Okay, I see how you did that. Working in a group. Oh, got a little slime. I'm trying to save up enough of this ectoplasma to try out the armor. But these guys are so hard to kill. Oh, he's still not dead. Okay, got him. We got one from it. <laughs> uh, I think we can do something like this where we put a gas collector over top. Yeah, and that collects the steam, and then we can pump it into a tank. Like so. And I don't know if you can really do anything with it. It does burn. It burns you or it burns mobs if you release it. Um, but I think we'll mostly use it for aesthetic stuff. Like if we have a piece of machinery or something or a, a building that we want to release steam from occasionally, I think that would be a cool effect. So, so yeah, we'll have some way of storing it like this. Um... I looked at the comments on the last episode, though, and somebody explained to me what is steampunk, <laughs> and they were actually very clear about it. Uh, apparently, steampunk is, uh-oh, as if the world advanced without electricity. So, yeah, I failed already. <laughs> so they didn't get electricity, so they had to rely on steam power as, as the world developed, and they made fancy machines um, using gears and steam and whatnot. Um, I think there's also a bit of fantasy in steampunk. But, uh, yeah, I probably can't quite do that because we got lights, we got electric engines. A lot of the stuff we're going to be building is going to use electricity. So it's not, it's not technically going to be a steampunk city. It's going to be more of a factory work base, I guess. Um, but we will be doing stuff with steam. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I looked into rotary craft some more as well. Figured this out. I got lava underneath the blast furnace. So it's working now. It's heated up. There's another creeper up there. And this only uses one gunpowder at a time, apparently. Do like, And sometimes it doesn't even use one, I've noticed. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But that makes nine of these. Let's shut this off for now. <laughs> I kind of like it, but I don't think I would want it to run all the time either. Um, so I got the stuff prepared to try this out. One of my goals was to make uh, like a centrifuge, because you can apparently make... Let's see, where is it? Yeah. So if we grind netherrack, it has to be a grinder. It can't be a pulverizer. We get this, and then we can take that and make glowstone and gunpowder from it in a centrifuge. So I got the grinder, I got the centrifuge, and a bunch of other stuff here from Rotary Craft. And let's just play around with this a little bit. So, this is your basic engine for power. And do I have any levers? I can make some. 
Okay, so I think you just power it with a lever. Whoa! Man, that is the worst <laughs> noise. I was not expecting that. It's so loud. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, we might not be able to do that. That is so bad. Um, I also made a windmill. Or wind turbine. Hopefully this isn't loud. Can we, uh... Can't place it. Still can't place it. Um, oh, there we go. So I think this makes power as well. In fact, I think it makes more power. Can I... Do I have to power it? Maybe it's only at certain times, though. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, here's what we'll do. We'll just turn the sound way down as we play with this, because that's kind of annoying. So, we got our basic power, and then we can run it into these, these shafts, and these are basically like wires in rotary craft. They transmit power, um, kinetic energy, and then we got our grinder, and I want to see if this will run. So that's the speed, that's the power, that's the, tor the torque. Those are the three aspects of rotary craft. I have a feeling we're going to have to play around with this though, because it's... Mm, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> uh, we need 4,096 watts, required torque 128. We have no torque. Yeah, the wind turbine seems to just activate randomly at certain times in the day. It just came on on its own. And it's running, trying to get power from it into the grinder. So we got a gearbox here. This is an 8 to 1, or no, a 4 to 1 gearbox. So it converts some of the speed from this turbine into torque. So I got it on torque mode. You're supposed to lubricate these, and since I'm not lubricating, it's slowly taking damage over time. And I guess you also have to lubricate the grinder. <laughs> and we need probably more power, because it's not, it's not doing anything. This says 2.0. So... So yeah, this isn't going to work currently. We need more generators more power generators and we need lubricants I guess so we should make that a goal for today we gotta we really gotta set up farms and stuff because <laughs> I am wasting so much time just running around collecting materials I should maybe stop this or destroy this I don't know if it blows up or what it does but it's gonna break eventually oh does this actually oh it does hurt you <laughs> Don't walk too close to the wind turbine. So yeah, I think we're going to take some time to set up some farms today. Uh, I would really like to get canola seeds going here. I can't find any. <laughs> I've been busting down grass. I don't know if they're super rare or what. I know I had some earlier, but I can't remember where I got them from. Like, seriously. Uh, this is what you make the lubricant from, though. Oh, there we go. We got one, finally. I busted down so many crops. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to plant this, and I'll try grow a big field of this stuff. Uh, I also really, really want to get a sheep farm going today. Yeah, so this is canola. Oh, man. It's going to take a while to grow. <laughs> All right. Let's not worry about that. Um... Sheep farm, we really need wool. I I had a few stacks of it f from earlier because I was manually shearing the sheep we had in that pen before. But I used that all up, and now the sheep are free, and if I need more wool, it's kind of a challenge. So let's get a farm going. Uh, maybe we'll build one. Here, you come with me. You're going to be our, our test subject. Uh, I have an idea for a really simple farm. Should be able to set it up in a couple minutes. Okay. Maybe over here would be a good spot. 
kind of out of the way. I think we can just put in... Come on, man. <laughs> Get out of the water. I need you. No. I need you so badly. Please follow me. Yes. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So I think what we can do... I made four autonomous activators. I think if we just put shears in these, they will actually shear the sheep. If we go down right click, let's see, uh, we'll just make one for now just in case I'm wrong. Okay, Mr. Sheep, come here. Help me test this. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. So we'll have that going on and then we'll just have a vacuum hopper like so piece of cake we'll make a little some fence areas so they they have a little bit of grass available but then they'll, they'll be very likely to walk over the the shearer here and then any wool that drops will get pulled into this so this is what i ended up with guys it's uh, actually very simple i like it it doesn't take any power to run and it's fully automatic just basically while I'm doing stuff in my world here, we're going to be getting wool. And I'll probably pump it up to a chest. I don't know what died or where this XP came from. <laughs> I don't know if, if I killed something somehow. But uh, for the most part, they don't seem to be walking around with any wool on them. Just occasionally for a little while. And I noticed they tended to hang around the fence like they're trying to get out of this area. So they, they don't really walk in the middle. So I decided to move these to the edges uh, because of that, and it seems to work a lot better that way. Uh-huh. So we got our wool taken care of there, which is very good because I've been using a lot of it. And I've been planting a farm out this way. So we got some canola growing over here. This is what we make the rotary craft lubricant out of. And it's a bit strange. I don't know why, but when I plant it... Now it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes when I plant it, it doesn't want to plant. Yeah, look. Why you no grow here? What is up with this? It's so strange. Oh, there's another spot. Um, like all these blank spots before I wasn't able to grow anything. Now I can in some of them. But it's very, very weird. So I don't know. I think I gotta put these in the grinder and then, oh, can't plant. <laughs> and then uh, we get the lubricant from it, I believe. All right, and then we got wheat growing over here, and I think a little bit of barley. And I just raided my food chest. We really gotta get the food going, or the food situation worked out today because I'm running around a lot, um, just picking up little scraps of food here and there. And uh, we need something better than that. So we got some spinach. Because it takes a lot of time when when you got to go hunt for scraps of food. Because <laughs> I am doing that thing where I got to eat 250 different food items. When you guys download this mod pack, by the way, I think we're releasing it, or I'm releasing it today, um, with help from Watchful, of course. Um, when you guys get this and you start playing it, make sure you take care of your food because it is pretty difficult to stay alive. All right, so that's going to make life a lot easier for me now. We got a pretty good garden growing, but I also wanted to get some fruit trees. These are like the super easy uh, food sources because like you can make jams and jellies from the different fruits. Um, there's a lot of coconut recipes. Oh, can I not do that? No, I want coconuts. <laughs> Wait. I thought for sure you could do that. I'm sh I think I did it before even. Oh, it's got to be a jungle sapling. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Cool, so we got some canola seeds now. I want to try and make the canola oil if we can. So back to rotary craft here. I was looking at the different engines. This is what we tried before. This is the basic, very cheap engine. Then we have the wind turbine up there. And from that, it gets more and more complicated. Ah! 
No. No. <laughs> no. My flying machine is up there. I never brought it down. I don't think I can get up the mountain. Oh no. Stupid creeper. It's going to take me an hour to get up there. I actually have to go climb a mountain now. Ah. Whoop. Man, this creeper, he made a mess. Big mess. All right. I turned my sound down because these machines are making a lot of noise. And of course, that's when a creeper is going to show up when I can't hear him. All right, just give me that jetpack back. Like I was saying, <laughs> we have these two engines, which we've tried. These other ones are a little bit more complicated, but they have a lot more power. I think the next easiest one is going to be this AC electric engine. It has a lot of power, 131 kilowatts. 512 torque, 256 speed. So that is what we're going to do here. But my crafting table is gone now. <laughs> Let me make a new one. Alright, do that and that's very good. So this is actually fairly simple too. Just need one of these. And this engine you power with alternating redstone um, currents which sounds a bit crazy. <laughs> sounds a bit laggy to me, but it's just going to be a temporary thing just to get what we need here. Because I was not able to run the grinder before with that other power. It wasn't strong enough. Or powerful enough, I guess. Let me snag that. Uh, we will maybe just try to connect it directly up to it. Like that. And I brought a comparator to do the old... Uh, pulse thing. Oops. Like so. And we just need a lever, I believe. Okay, so I think this will run. No. Do I have to? Hmm. So I'm very quickly learning just how difficult Rotary Craft is. It's a very complicated mod. Um, I'm just... I just want to run a grinder. <laughs> it's very tricky just to do that. This had enough power to do it for sure and I set it up. It needs a two tick redstone signal apparently but then when I set it up I read something here. This engine requires a magnetized shaft core which it will gra gradually demagnetize so it gets weaker over time. Um, to make that is not as easy as you might think because there's so many machines in this mod it's like you need a machine for every function and it requires a magnetizing unit, which takes a ton of power. <laughs> so, this engine is far down the line. We need something else. See, this thing, it does have enough power, but it's just... I still don't think it can run it, unfortunately. Um, let me try one more time. It doesn't produce enough torque is the problem, so I need a gearbox. And where is my grinder? Over here. Let's see. And you can't really check how much torque something has. It's very, very tricky. This isn't going to work. No, it's not making lubricant. <gasps> I quit! I'm done! <laughs> and it, once again, I did not move my flying machine. I was planning on doing it next time I went down the mountain. Nope. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'm going to rage quit. <laughs> I got to go climb the mountain and get my stuff back. I also need to just make a whole bunch of more ma whole bunch of machines, it looks like. This will tell me the speed and the torque of things, so I'll, I'll make one of these. And I believe if I make a second wind turbine, I can connect two together, perhaps. Or I need to make a steam engine. Basically, I need materials and I need to need to craft a bunch of stuff so I think we'll end it here um, and I'll try to get that ready for next time I want to uh, let you guys know how to download the mod pack it is ready it is ready it's on the feed the beast launcher which I'll link in the description so you go you download the feed the beast launcher 
um, set that all up. In the options on the launcher, there's a place to to set how much dedicated wham <laughs> you you give your your game. So you'll probably want at least two gigs to four gigs if uh, your system can handle it. And uh, then what you do, there's going to be a button on the top right, and you enter. Oops, you enter Etho. Um, the, oh yeah, the button is uh, pack codes. Pack codes. So it's not visible anywhere on the launcher. You have to go to pack codes, enter Etho, and then my pack will show up. It's like a secret hidden pack on the launcher. All right, that lets you download it. It's like a password, and. Uh, Hopefully it works for you guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am a one-man guy, so I cannot really give you help if you're having trouble. Google is your best friend. If you have any errors, just enter the error, and you'll usually find uh, some advice on what to do about it. And also, um, the pack is kind of as is. I might try to update it a few times as, as we go along here. But if there's any crashes or issues, I'm very limited as to what I can do. All right, guys. <laughs> so if you want to play my pack and play along with me, go right ahead. But uh, things might not be perfect. That's that's all I'm telling you, okay? So don't come crying to me. All right. So I, with that said, I, I want to thank you guys for watching. I, thank, I want to thank the Feed the Beast guys and Watchful for helping me, me get the pack on the launcher. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you again in the next one for episode 11. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a second, guys. Just a couple more things I thought of that I should probably mention. With the public pack I am releasing to you of the the mod pack, um, it's not going to have mo creatures in. I can't get permission for that. And I decided not to include Glenn's gases in it just because, well... It's very explosive. <laughs> People will die. People will get upset. And it has some performance issues like when stuff explodes, lots of tile entities get made, and when gas flows, it takes, takes a lot of, of power on your computer, which not everybody has. So I figured it would be best not to include that. Uh, thankfully, though, should have pretty much all the same configurations that I have in my mod pack, so it'll be very similar. And that means you do have the food crisis to deal with. So make sure you eat well. <laughs> you might not like it, but deal with it. It's part of the pack. And as well, one last thing. A lot of people were asking about the biomes of plenty changes I made. The author gave me permission to, to include them in the release. So that is awesome. Very happy about that. I wasn't expecting to get permission for that. But... Uh, yeah, you should have amplified biomes of plenty. When you create your worlds, uh, in the options, you know how you have the super flats and normal world, large biomes. In there, make sure you select biomes of plenty. It's a special generation feature if you want that uh, in your world. Okay. All right. I think I'm done talking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye bye.